today's experiment, I'm going to show you how to create a liquid that turns into a solid when tapped. To do this, you're going to need around 60 grams of corn flour, some water, I'm going to use some food colouring as well, and a spoon to mix it with. So firstly, just add a little bit of food colouring, I'm going to use green here, into your corn flour. And you want to add a little bit of water, just so that the corn flour gets wet. You just keep adding a little bit of water at a time. Keep mixing it and you'll know when it's right when the liquid, when it's still a liquid as you're stirring it, but when you tap it, it turns into a solid. So I'm going to take a little bit of this and I'm going to scoop it out of this. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slowly apply pressure whilst I'm working it into a ball. And as long as you keep applying pressure, you can see that it turns from a liquid and stays solid. But as soon as I stop applying pressure to it, it'll form a puddle in the middle of my palm. So let us explain the science behind the experiment. So Isaac Newton described how normal liquids behave. He observed that their ability to flow changes with variation in temperature or pressure. For example, water turning into steam or ice. In this experiment, the ability to flow is also dependent on the force that's applied to the liquid. This is not how a normal liquid behaves and known as a non-Newtonian fluid. Other examples of non-Newtonian fluids are ketchup, custard, and paint. Well, how does it actually work? When you mix corn flour with the water, large corn flour particles remain suspended in the liquid. When you stir the mixture slowly, it acts like a liquid because the suspended particles have time to move past each other. When you apply force to the mixture, the water quickly moves out of the way, but the particles don't have enough time to move, and therefore making it act like a solid. So here's how we had fun trying to scale this up. 